The ancestors gave me their blessing. Then it is decided. The Shaganumbi will teach you rule. Ikoko and I will show you. Teach me about voodoo. I'm not good enough to try this yet. Teach me? Maybe not a good idea. How do I make a voodoo scepter? It was the Tiwas who taught the ancestors the voodoo way. It passes down the generations and has never been taught to outsiders. Until now. So you keep records of everything? Our knowledge is recorded. Yes, it tells of the materials and rituals that give the scepter its power. You will need those records to make your scepter. Hmm, Can you teach me? Yep, but I can make powerful potions. Do you wish to learn that? You can tell a lot about a pirate by his hair. Like what? so? I really do want to roam. No, you're up to something. Some freaky hair pervert, are you? How about I buy one? For you to do filthy things with my hair, not a chance. If you give me a hair, I'll give it to Capua. She will use it to make you. What kind of amulet, eh? Protective amulet. Protect me from what? Evil wounded witches. Nah. Maybe it could be useful. Hang on, I got something in my hair. It may be sticky, but you can have it. That could be anything. Anyway, why are you doing this, pawning off an amulet on me? I just want to see the captain. Wanna join up, eh? Well, you give up this hair fetish, and you get my vote. Might even put in a good word for you with the captain. That's good. Provided that amulet does what you says. Here's a clump of Jim's hair. Yes, this would be enough. So, making a doll. That sounds like a manly task. The dolls are made by the Kiki. A sacred task, it is not for you. The doll is not enough for the voodoo. You must use the altar. There, you give it eyes and teeth from animals. And you give it a jade stone for the spirit. Then you need to give it something from the target. A drop of blood or a hair will suffice. That's it? Chi, that's it. Stop there, Gucho. You have tested my patience enough. Break. You know what I've just been through? You were in the temple of the ancestors. Only the worthy may go there. I 
I've done a lot for your people. Is this all the thanks I get? You are not Shaganumbi. No one except us is allowed in the Temple of the Ancestors. You are unworthy. You are a good job. What exactly is it you want from me? Chani belongs to me. She is not allowed to go with you. Ah, oh, now I get it. You're jealous. You've got the wrong idea, my friend. Trust me, Chani's not my type. You do not want to marry her? It's her voodoo I'm interested in, not her body. Kapo! Chani would only accept one of the Shaganumbi. Well, I'm not stopping you. But have you ever asked whether she wants you? Kaka! Duh. Are we done here yet? Take her then, Gucho. But do not forget. Now you must protect her. Any harm comes to her. And I will find you. Capo, Gucho. Capo. So, no hard feelings? You mock me. Leave, Gucho, and do not return. Can we trade? Can we trade? The doll for Jim is ready. Then you are ready. Stand before him and use it. my amulet. Later. You better not be screwing me about that. Of course not. It's almost finished. You say so? You've got some balls showing your ugly mug around here again. Do I look like a man with a forgiving nature? You got a problem with me? Don't come the innocent with me, Sonny Jim. You cheated me out of my share of the spoils, and you know it. You'd have done the same if you'd have thought of it first. If I was a cheating weasel, yeah, but I ain't. I know that you buried your gold somewhere on the coast here. Soon as I find out exactly where, you're a dead man. You got me, Jim. 
Praise be to the gods. Praise be to the gods. Praise be to the gods. You got some balls showing your face round here again. Rum right your brain and you forgot you still owe me. Well, no gold means no rum. Understand? How much to owe you again? Can't remember your own debts. You really are a useless wanker. We'll call it 100 for all the grief you've given me. And you don't even get a sniff of rum until I get what's owed to me. Any chance we could make some other kind of deal on this? Not a chance, mate. Either pay up or bugger off, got it? I need time to get that much together. You better be fast then. Very popular, my rum. Business good then? Good enough. Especially now I've got myself a nice new little sideline. <laughs> Who'd have thought I'd ever have reason to feel grateful to them spear chuckers? Spent a few days going around the island. Very profitable little trip, so it was. Sold them lots of rum, did you? Rum? Waste of good booze given to the spear chuckers. Nah. See, when they bury their dead, they stick all Grandpa's gold trinkets in there with him. So what do we do? I come along afterwards and dig it all up. You robbed the graves? Inquisition does it, so why shouldn't I? You should see it. Solid gold jewellery. And them thick savages just chuck it into a hole. Fucking waste of good loot, that's what it is. Be a crime to leave it there. I'm looking for Crow. Uh-uh. And what's that got to do with me? Uh, you know where he is? At the sanctuary, that's all I know. Ask Ben if you want to know more. I don't have enough gold. Piss off, Jim. Jim, me drunken old ale snatcher. Oh, sorry, sail patcher. How's it going in the village? I got the stuff. Good. Leave the food with me. Take the idol to the captain in the sanctuary, if they let you in, that is. Why? The captain's been closeted there with the chieftain these last few days. They ain't shown their mugs a moment since. So, how do I get inside the sanctuary? You doesn't. Floyd's making sure no one gets in. Who else is here? Apart from them savages the chieftain brought with him. Just Digger and Skinner. Neither of whom thinks much of you, me rum-chugging chum. What's Skinner's beef? Skinner? Oh, he's only got problems with those that shortchange Digger. Oh, right. Them that shortchange Digger, he gets to skinning. So settle your bill sharpish if you don't want to get scalped. What's Digger's problem? Digger? He's only got issues with drinkers who don't settle their debts. Debts? Rum ain't cheap. You should know that, you dirty old grog guzzler. Ain't my fault the Malacca job's not turning a profit. Tell me about Floyd. That airy great weevil's old. <laughs> Since Crow took a shine to him, he thinks he can play the big man. Oh, but we'll take him down a peg once we're back at sea, don't you worry. What's that I smell? Piss and vomit? What are you doing here, fuckface? What's your problem? What's my problem? Where you want me to start? You nicked my fucking gold? You always help yourself to my fucking rum? You're the biggest fucking scrounger and loser I know. Can't I make it up to you? Sure you can, for the right price. What do you want? Uh, more than you've got. But you can get something for me. Then I guess we might be even. What can I get for you? You know Ben, right? Him and his crew have been here for a few days. Seems like they've been out on a bit of a grave robbing expedition. Round the Malacca burial sites. What I hear, it was a nice little earner for all of them. And you want me to nick their loot for you? 
You suddenly developed a fucking conscience about nicking stuff from your mates? I don't nick stuff from my mates. Uh huh. I think we both know different there. Everyone knows what a good pickpocket you are. Shouldn't be too hard to get your hands on the loot. Who's in Ben's crew? Ben, of course. And Digger and Skinner. I hear they're all big mates of yours. So you'd better not let them catch you, hey? All right, I'll do it. And then you let me into the sanctuary. You just fucking worry about bringing me that loot. You do that, I let you in. I've got a nasty feeling, and it ain't a hangover. Yeah, something's up, and I don't know what. Don't even think about it, matey. I ain't some dim-witted malucca with pockets right for picking. I know your game now. I ain't gonna get burned by you twice. So, about that rum? You want it? You gotta pay for it. I know that. Yeah? Tell that to your mate Skinner. You taking his cut of the spoils is one thing. But nicking all his rum, too. That's just fucking wrong, Maze. You let me worry about Skinner. I don't have enough... Do yourself a favor. I've got an idol for the chieftain. Yeah? Leave it here, and I'll make sure he gets it. <laughs> you think I'm stupid? I want to give it to him myself. Then you're shit out of luck, aren't you? No one's allowed in. Do yourself a favor. Listen, I'm really sorry. Can't we just be mates again? After what you did, piss off. Well, don't say I didn't try. Do yourself a favor, mate. This how you treat an old mate? Since when were we mates? Piss off, deadbeat! Do yourself... Well, you're out of luck there, pisshead. He's with... How you doing, big fella? Capo Gucho, Shaku Taraka Tonka Bambule! Right, um, I'd get down to the apothecary and get that scene to if I were you. Hello there! Sheku! Dirty bugger, mind your language! Hello there! Capo Gucho! Blame me, that right? Sheku! Oh, three times in one night, you lucky bastard! Here's your gold. You're paying me? Bloody hell, I don't believe it. Nick something shiny from the spear chuckers, did ya? All right then, what do you need? Then we think, uh, uh, how about some rum? It's 50 a bottle. Special price just for a scroungy bastard like you. And I need paying up front. No more credit for you, arsewipe. House rules. You don't like them, you can fuck right off. Charming. Give me a bottle. There you go. I don't have enough... No hard feelings. Let me buy you a drink. Yeah, that's the least you can do. I've been drinking on my money long enough. Now piss off out of here. Piss off. Do yourself a f I want to talk to the captain. Well, you're out of luck there. He's with a...
Here's your loot. Sweet. But it won't take them long to realize it's been nicked. Reckon they'll be coming looking for you soon, mate. That's my problem. You gonna let me in now? Sure. In you go. You still here? The ritual starts now. Kapusheko pilot. What do you want from me? I've brought you the idol from the clan. Ah, so the Kiki have finished it. It will protect the Donka. Give the Donka strength. How does it work, this idol of yours? Voodoo. The Shaganumbi are steeped in Voodoo. The ancestors have passed down to us in secrets. Ways to fortune and healing. Ways to bang and death too. Tell me more about Voodoo. You are an outsider. It is better that you do not know my secrets. I have said too much already. The ritual starts now! Crow, no, we must wait for the delivery. We need the idol. The Shioko Tiwa is ready, that's all we need. Oh no, the stars are not aligned yet. It's too soon. Stars, idol, time, none of it matters now. I have the power, no more waiting. Don't even try and stop me. You know you can't. What? I got the delivery from the village. And? Stop wasting my time. Get it to back here. What? Is there something else? I won't take a lot of your time. Return to the Shagadon. You're wasting my time! Like a drowned in a rum barrel? Maybe you shouldn't drink so much. No, maybe I should find another barrel. That'll sort me out. I got one of your father's hairs. Now we have all we need. It's time to create the voodoo doll. When it is complete, show it to me. The doll for Bakir is ready. Let me see. Hmm. Not bad for a Gucho. We act now. Get ready, then find me. Soon we fight. The battle with Crow looks like it's about to kick off. Go to the Temple of the Earth. I will follow. <laughs> 